is a step-by-step -step example of how to enhance a data graphic by pulling out the message from the data. Here are the before and after views of the data table that shows which birds prefer which seat. All I did can be accomplished in Excel. Of course, if you have uh, a coding language or software package, you can also execute the same step. Recently, a reader of my junk charts blog sent me a chart that can also be improved by applying some basic principles of data visualization. Here is the chart from The Economist. The Economist is known for its pithy headlines, and this one is no exception. I immediately noticed the price of being global. I see multinational firms and local firms being contrasted by the return on equity. So I'm expecting a story that says that multinational firms have a price to pay for being global rather than local. I got this impression just from the very top of the chart. Here's the problem. After I finished reading the chart, my head did not clear up. In fact, I got more confused. I'm not sure that there is a price to being global rather than local. It's even hard to figure out where to look to find that story. Six rows down, this chart shows all industry sectors where the red and the blue stripes coincide. That means that the price of being global is zero. If there's a story in this data, the story is buried in individual industry sectors. On the right is a column of pie charts. These pie charts show the importance of uh, multinationals by industry sector. The, in the technology sector, multinationals account for the vast majority of the book value, whereas in the utilities and the media sectors, multinationals are a bit player. It's not easy to draw conclusions about the correlation between the importance of multinationals and the price of going global. So how can we enhance this data graphic? How can we bring the message of the data out to the readers more strongly? Principal Analytics Prep. Prepping you for the data revolution.